Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany and this is Tiffin Stitches and this is my knitting podcast covering March and a little bit of April. So it's April 9th today and last time I filmed I think was like March 3rd or 4th or somewhere in the beginning of March. So it's been about a month. Um, but welcome. If you're new here, welcome. Nice to meet you. And if you are returning, then welcome back. And I'm glad to have you and I'm glad you came back for more. Um, I have a lot to show you guys. I have been knitting like crazy and it has been very therapeutic for me and just needed and I've loved it. So I've learned a lot. I'm still learning and challenging myself. So I'm excited to share with you guys some of the new things that I've done in the last month. Um, I think that's it to start out the video and we will, uh, we will dive in because there's a lot to show you. Um, so first I'm going to start with projects you've seen, which I think I only have two that I worked on that you've seen. And then I've got a bunch of new stuff that I started and then I have a butt ton of haul. Excuse my French. A whole lot of haul. Um, and um, as a life update, things are a little crazy. My personal life is a little kind of off kilter um, what I'm used to, but I'm not gonna get into all that, but just know that I've been knitting as a form of therapy and it has been wonderful. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you um, should, first of all. My um, handle is Tiffin Stitches and I do share a lot of my knitting there. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm working on throughout the month, um, I'm gonna probably film more often um, because just like I said, some things in my life have changed and this is something I enjoy doing and I think I should have a little bit more time to do now. Um, but uh, if not, follow me on Instagram because you'll see what I do and what I work on. Um, and yeah, I do have a little bit of allergies. I've been fighting for about three weeks. It turned into an upper respiratory infection. <clears throat> so if I kind of, I'm, I'm still getting over it. It's not COVID, don't worry. Um, I feel like you have to put that disclaimer when you have a little tickle in your throat. Um, okay, so things you've seen. One of them is a sad story. The other one is not. So um, last video I showed you guys that I was working on some socks. They looked like this. And as you can see, they are no longer connected to the needles. They are going to be taken out. This is the yarn. It is Knit Picks Felici in Rustic Cabin. And as I was working with it, I just, I realized that I wasn't gonna have enough. And I, I ordered these on a whim when I was ordering some dishy. And I just ordered one, not realizing it was a 50 gram skein. And I could make myself a pair of socks out of this, but these were not for me and they were a bigger size and I just don't think it was gonna actually last. Um, I have a contrast color for this um, that I might make something still out of it, um, but I am gonna rip these back and use this yarn for something else. But I did get a little further on it than I was last time you saw it. I think I was down here in the yellow and I did um, a few stripes on that. So that's the sad one. The next thing that you guys have seen and I have put a ton of work into is my blanket that I'm knitting. Hold up. We're, we're in the middle of a row, so I have to. <laughs> so I'm knitting this with my mom. It's a kit club from Annie's Kit Clubs. You see advertisement for her all the time. She fell for the advertisement. She bought it. And then I bought it because she did because I wanted something to do with her after my dad passed away. Um, last time you saw this, I was on the first stripe and it's kind of rolling up. Oh, this is not easy to show you. Um, so I was down here in the stockinette section on the white last time you saw this. So this is 202 stitches wide. It's a big, it's a big blanket. Um, so it has a lot of work into it since y'all saw it last month. This section in the dark purple here is stockinette. And then we have a lace section. And then this section, it was new to me. It's called the star stitch. And it was, you have to go through, knit through three loops and then yarn over, then knit through the same three loops again before you slide them off the needles. So you have to like really be cognizant. So luckily my mom did this first. And so I knew that I needed to be really loose um, on my rows prior to doing the star stitch. So that set me up for a little bit more success and I was able to get through that and it looks really cool. 
And then there's a bobble row here. You can see my little bobbles. That was my first time doing bobbles, so that's there. And I'm on another lace row now. This is an 18 row lace row, so I've, or a lace stripe, so I've got, um, I don't know, I'm not even halfway, so I've got a bit more to go on that. Um, but that is my blanket, and I do have the next set, and I'm getting another one soon. I am behind, um, but you know, it's been fun. My mom is ahead of me. She's finished the stripe after this lace and then started the next stripe, so she is ahead of me on this, but it's fun. I really do enjoy working on it, and I just, I put it on pause because of some new starts that do have a deadline, and then I'll get back to that. All right, the next thing I started doesn't have a deadline, and it's also a haul because you have not seen this yarn before. I bought so much yarn. You guys are going to be like, what? Hold on. I'm, I'm caught. Here we go. All right, so this is um, from, they changed their name. They were Ravenswood Fibers, and now there's something else. I'll put it here because I don't remember off the top of my head. But it is their color Flickering Flame. It's so cool. And it is for my brother. It is a sock head hat, just like the one I knit for Carter that I finished up earlier this year. Um, and this is how it's knitting up. So I've gotten a little bit of the ribbing done. You have to do four inches of ribbing. So I think I'm at one and a half or two, somewhere in there. So I have a bit more ribbing to do before I start the body of the hat. But this is where I'm at for that project. I need to put some progress keepers on these so that I know where I was um, next time that I film. Okay, the next thing, what's the next thing? Oh, the next thing was a start and a finish. It was a test knit. Um, my first test knit ever, so I guess I'll chat a little bit about this. So, <clears throat> you know, I, I wanted to challenge myself to do a test knit because I wanted to learn something new, but I also wanted to see how I did with providing feedback, deadlines, things like that. So this was my first test knit. It's for um, the designers are two sisters called Slip Slip Sis um, and Shaylee and um, Gabby, I think. I can't remember her sister's name. I'll put them here. Um, but this is coming out this summer, a little later this summer. And I'm gonna do a full video on each of my test knits. So I don't, I'm not gonna go too far into it, but look out for a full video on this. But this is the slats on a pie cowl and I knit this um, using my needles were way bigger than what she called for um, she's a very loose knitter so I think I, I knit these on a five a US size five but her pattern is written with a two which is crazy that we could be that different but to get gauge I did it I did a swatch for this and to get gauge I needed to knit with a five um, it's a simple pattern, um, simple construction. I really, really enjoyed it. I knit this using um, small batch yarns in the colorway Dottie's BFF. You've seen me pull this colorway out before, um, and I just love it. So I'll show you guys how it fits. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty slouchy, and um, yeah. So I finished that and got that done before the deadline. And um, some key things on this that I'll talk more about, but like maybe you guys have some pointers for me. Um, so I did a German twisted cast on for this and it's super stretchy, which is what I wanted. Um, and I Googled what bind off most closely mimics a German twisted cast on because I wanted the top to be just as stretchy. And what I found, what they recommended was an Icelandic bind off. But like, I mean, I don't know how to show you guys the difference. Stretch. <laughs> it's way tighter. So I don't recommend that bind off to match a German twisted bind off at least. So if you guys have any recommendations for what you think would match a German twisted cast on, um, let me know because I'd be interested so that I know in the future in case I knit something similar um, that I could make the bind off as stretchy as the cast on. Leave your comments below. I would appreciate the feedback. 
So that is a finished object and I will be doing a video on that with all the details um, a little closer to the release date. I think they're going to release this in May. So I will keep you guys updated on that. And then I started another pair of socks. So when the Rustic Cabin socks weren't going to work, um, I started, I bought some two things of Felici and started over, but I decided to challenge myself to knit two socks at a time. So this is all I got done on them so far, but I did succeed in casting on two pairs and working them at the same time. This is the yarn and it's escaping me what the name is. I'll put it down I'll put it down below um, but I am so I have two balls and they're connected to each sock individually and yeah just wanted to learn a new skill and see if I liked it and um, I do uh, it was more finicky to cast on for sure but <clears throat> now that they're actually like established and have a little weight to them it's not too bad so um, that is and it was a little bit weird to line up the stripes, not gonna lie, but I think knitting them two at a time actually helped me to do that. I'm a little bit, a little bit off, but I think you won't be able to tell. I think it's close enough. So that is the next project I started. And that was some new yarn that I purchased. And then the last two starts are test knits again. I have two test knits going right now that I have deadlines for, um, both in early May. So um, I've been putting a lot of effort into these, and that's I got cut off um, by a work call. But um, I think I was saying that I am working on two test knits, and that's where my focus has been um, because I do have deadlines for those. So I will show you those now. Um, one of them is for Gab and Gabby and Shaylee um, from Slip Slip Sis again. I'm doing a second test knit for them for their new sock pattern that's going to be coming out. Um, this is called the Everybody Cut Loose Sock, it, so it is named, um, and I am, let me see if I can get it to not wash out. So this is, let me see, uh, nope, well you can sort of see the texture, that's really blurry. Let it focus. Okay, so it's a textured sock. Um, with a 10 row repeat and this is a two by two cuff in contrasting color so this color will be the cuff the heel and the toe and then the body of the sock is this this is a sock set from the creative knitter and <clears throat> it came with this is the main color it's blowing out but this is the main color and then obviously this is the mini that I'm using for that. It also came with one more mini that is just white. And I'm, I'm not sure, I'm hoping I'll have enough of the green to do the heel in the green. But if not, I might do the heel in the white and then do the toe and the cuff in the green. But we'll see. Um, but I love this yarn. It's a little bit fuller of a yarn for fingering weight. But it is like so soft for being an 80-20 yarn. Or a, it might be a 75-25. But either way, it's it doesn't have any cashmere or like anything else in the makeup. But it is like, I don't know. It's like the softest yarn. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend the Creative Knitter. I will be ordering from her again. This is my first time ordering from her. This is the colorway, um, the sock set Lilacs in Bloom. And it's just a really pretty green, purple, and white speckled yarn and then the green so that is that test knit i will have a full video on this as well i'm going to do a series for any test knits that i do where they kind of get their own video and i really go into the details about them so that you guys know what the pattern entails and what it looks like in the end and all of that so i will have a video for that before this pattern releases and then the next test knit that i have is for um a different a, a new designer it's her first design and um her name is maddie hobbs i'm pretty sure let me make sure that i got that right would hate to say her name wrong um her name yep maddie hobbs and it, uh, her instagram is made by maddie 33 so this is her first design 
and um, does not have a name yet. We're helping her to come up with names. But the two yarns that I'm using for this, this is Emma's Yarns in the color Hot Tamale. So cool. It's like a hot pink, orange, light pink, coral, kind of a variegated yarn. And then my main color for these is this color, which I have the label right here. This is, I think it's the company HHF. Let me pull this out, hold on. It's kind of wrapped up in the yarn here a little bit. So hand dyed HHF, the color is, oh, Hedgehog Fibers. The color is Coral, that's the label. It's very um, holographic-y, but it's just Coral. Um, and it goes really, really well with the variegated yarn. Super excited about the combo. And this is a cabled sock pattern. So I have knit cables before in a past life, but it had been a while, so I wanted to challenge myself to do cables. And I thought no better time than now. And I, I don't think it's washing it out. I think you can see it, but they're hearts. So that is that the backside is stockinette. So my heel toes and cuffs will be in the hot tamale colorway. And then my body will be in the solid. Um, and so that you can really see the cables. I really like it. So I have finished up the fourth repeat I have to do six repeats on the leg and then I will start the heel um, heel flap. So that is where I'm at on that one. So I'm in about the same spot on each of these. This one I've done a full three rotations. I started in on the fourth one, so I'm almost caught up on this sock to this sock. Um, this is This pattern is knitting up like a little wider and this one is like, a little skinnier because of the cables, but I've tried them on and this one might be a little bit big. I'm gonna give her feedback once I can really fully try it on. But I cast on my normal number of stitches. I think it might just be the pattern itself is just um, a little bit, has a little bit more give. Um, but yeah, so once this one is named um, and all of that and it's finished up, I will have another video on this as well, um, giving you details and letting you know when this is releasing as well. So that is, all of my knitting. It's been a lot. I feel like I've gotten a lot done, especially with that blanket. That's been hours of work um, because it, it's so wide. So that is that. Now I have a ton of haul to show you. So much haul. You guys, you can't judge me because I got my stimulus check and I put some aside for savings and I bought a new couch and then I bought some yarn because it makes me happy. So I work hard and I deserve it, right? <clears throat> so I don't know where to start. Let's see. So when I placed the Knit Picks order for the Felici that I got for the blue socks, um, I did go ahead. I wanted the free shipping, so I picked up a skein of their Hawthorne fingering weight yarn, and this is in the colorway Boardwalk. I love purple, so I saw the purple and was sold. Like, I'll try it. I haven't caked it up yet, but I bet it's going to be really pretty. Um, so I got that. And then I ordered, uh, where is it? In this bag. No, nope, in this bag. I placed an order with a new yarn company for me for a sock set and another sock yarn. This is from a company called Ash and Bumble. I already know what pattern I want to knit with this yarn, with this mini and this. Um, Shiloh knit it, and it's something about her. Um, it's a Harry Potter, free Harry Potter sock pattern. I already have it saved on my Ravelry. Um, this is her color English Garden from Ash and Bumble. It's her sock set. Love it. So pretty. And then the other one I picked up from her is called Iris, and it's purple. So you know. You know I had to get it. So gorgeous. So, so pretty. The next thing I ordered was from Treehouse Knits, and it was her March Mystery Yarn Club yarn. And it came in, and it's just called March 2021. And this is it. So pretty. And she ended up having a sale that she showed on her Instagram. So I ordered a couple more things from her. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. 
like I'm missing one, but it's in a bag. So I ordered three skeins from her, um, and I think I have her April. I ordered her April Sock Mystery Club and her April Regular, um, so I'll have that coming in soon. But I just ordered these one-offs. This one is called Haven. How freaking gorgeous is that? And then these two I bought to go together. I'm gonna make something, I'm challenging myself to do something holding um, fingering and lace weight mohair. Um, I wanted, I've never done that, so I wanted to get this to be able to try that out. So these two will make a hat or a shawl or a something. Um, and they are both in the serendipity colorway. How pretty. I love it. So um, this one is more of a semi-solid, and then obviously this one's more variegated, but they're gonna look beautiful together. So that's what I got from Treehouse Knits. And then I had a gift card to the yarn store from my birthday back in November that I hadn't used. And I purchased, when I got this, I got this um, Emma's Yarns uh, Hot Tamale. And I'm using that already, but I got two more Emma's yarns from the yarn shop that I'm going to put in my stash for socks in the future or for shawls. This one's called Fun Guy. So it's got like greens and browns. Um, might go good in a shawl with this, like a faded shawl or something. And then the other color I got is called Calypso. Oh. And I thought this one would be cool to go with this one too, um, but they can't all go together. They can't all live together. So I got the this. <clears throat> and then of course I bought the yarns, the Lilacs in Bloom sock set that I'm already using, and I bought the um, Hedgehog Fibers Coral that I'm already using, and I bought the Flickering Flame that I'm already using. So, and I bought the, oh, I bought this that I'm already using. <laughs> so there's been a lot of yarn purchases, okay? And I have more coming, but I'm done, but I have more coming. I ordered a big um, a big order from Coast to Coast Yarns, and she it was a pre-order, so she has up to eight week processing times. So I'm hoping I will have that either late April, early May, I'm hoping. Um, the only other thing I got haul-wise, is my um, Annie's Kit Clubs. I haven't even opened it yet because I'm not to the part, but I'll show you um, kind of an opening so you know what they look like if you ever decide to order these kits. So you get one package a month. It comes with, I don't need that. This is all extra stuff. It comes with your pattern. Maybe my pattern is in there says special offer but I'm not seeing my pattern book so I'm hoping they stuck it in here uh, no well it's supposed to come with your pattern book <coughs> excuse me and your yarns for that <coughs> goodness for that month to do your your parts but I don't have my pattern book my mom has it so she can send me a picture but that's sad if they didn't send it to me um, but normally it comes with it so don't worry but yeah so that is the only other thing I got that is on a subscription basis so um, I will get one every month for 12 months I think I'm pretty sure um, so that's everything that's all it's a lot I know but um, I'm happy with it. I'm proud of myself for going outside of my comfort zone, doing some test knits, trying some new things, um, and I'm just really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying sock knitting. I, I, I'm a convert. I, I just, I love this. Look at those hearts. They're so cool. It's, I mean, it's trickier because it's cables. I mean, it has a little bit more work put into it, but they're, they're easy enough, and they just, they turn out looking so awesome. And I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. So... 
that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel and you know, please stay subscribe if you are into crafting and knitting and all the things and, um, keep an eye out for my videos and um, revolving around those test knits so you can get some more details about the patterns and hopefully purchase them and knit them and you know, we can chat about it. Ask me if you have any questions and, and all of that happy to answer them. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.